Survivor Series is tonight. I actually didn't think I was going to make another part of this, but I guess it's going to be the final part because they added two more matches, and that's really it. I mean, other than the fact that I'm kind of surprised there's only one Survivor Series matchup, traditional Survivor Series matchup, it's alright because they actually have a pretty good card, and I haven't had a card this big in a while, actually, so that's that'll have to make an impressive show if they actually do it right. Now, the first matchup we're going to go over is the United States Championship matchup. It is Daniel Bryan versus Ted DiBiase. On Monday Night Raw, old school Raw, I should say, he got the Ted DiBiase. Well, it's kind of a weird situation. Oksana thinks that Father Her Mother was here, turns around, it was Dusty Rhodes in a wig, which was hilarious. Uh, it was just a clusterfuck of people, to be honest. Um, Kelly Kelly drops a net on Aksana. Goldust takes the belt, the million dollar title. Goldust then hands it to the million dollar man. Actually, he holds it to Ted DiBiase, who gives it to the million dollar man and IRS. Ted DiBiase wants to bring it back. He gives it back to his son. But. The fortunate son made it clear he did not want a hand-me-down championship. Which kind of makes me sad because we'll never see that title again, probably, ever. If you, unless you want to buy it or whatever. Other than that, it won't be in the WWE for a very long time. Probably this is the last time we'll see it. Unless the Million Dollar Man comes out with it. But other than that, the Million Dollar title is probably now retired. And that's sad because we never got to see a defense of it. They actually have a history of the uh, million dollar title on WWE.com. Which there's only been four champions. Two unofficial champions that have stolen the belt, but there are four in total. Six if you count Jake the Snake Roberts and Goldust, who actually stole the belt, not won it. But, on Old School Raw, after, after we saw JR, which is awesome. We saw JR... During the Daniel Bryan, and uh, I don't remember who was else in the match, but after that, Ted DiBiase he comes out and hits Dream Street, Dream Street, on Daniel Bryan, and he takes the United States Championship. And apparently, this is how we got this matchup. It was very weird, very weird, <laughs> but. Nonetheless, we have this matchup. And to be honest, I don't know who's going to win this. Because if you think about it, Daniel Bryan is Daniel Bryan. Brian Danielson, the man who we've known for many years in Ring of Honor and all these other federations. But Ted DiBiase is on a roll right now. With Maurice probably going to be at ringside helping Ted win the match. It's pretty much a toss-up. I can't really call a winner in this one. So, but it will be a very interesting match, and hopefully they'll do it right. And the final, second and final matchup that we're going to do, and I have to get rid of a stupid ad because of stupid WWE with the little all these ads and shit. Anyway, the Intercontinental Title will be on the line as Dolph Ziggler defends against Caval. Now Caval actually beat Dolph Ziggler. On Friday Night Smackdown, giving him his first official win and, and a non title matchup. And if everyone knows, you beat a champion, it doesn't matter if it's a non title matchup or a title matchup, you are propelled to a title shot, even if you're not the number one contender. If you win against a champion in a non title matchup, you definitely get the shot. And Caval honestly earned the shot. So it will be Dolph Ziggler and Caval for the Intercontinental Championship. Honestly, seeing the losing streak kind of reminds me of the Daniel Bryan thing. Because if you think about it, they both, they, both of these men, Caval and uh, Daniel Bryan, have been in the Indies for years. And if you don't remember him, Caval as Senshi in TNA, you probably don't. He was the X Division champion back then. Probably no, barely one remembers it. And that's when he started using the Warriors' way, which is that 
stomping maneuver from the top rope. Since she... And hell, you remember from the Indies as low key. And you know, that was probably, the losing streak was probably a punishment. Just like Daniel Bryan, for you know, just being in the competitive, against the competitor. Which isn't a bad thing all the time, but if you're like someone like a Daniel Bryan or a Caval, it's just fucking politics in WWE. It's that simple. But, this losing streak is starting to come around to a winning streak. I can see Caval becoming the new Intercontinental Champion. Because Dolph Ziggler, honestly, with this storyline with Vicky Guerrero, Caitlyn, he has to focus on that more. Because probably Caitlyn's going to survive in a few weeks, and she'll probably win NXT, which would be a surprise, because it's either going to be AJ, Naomi, or Caitlyn. It, honestly, they should all win, in my opinion. But nonetheless, Caval will pull the upset win against Dolph Ziggler. Because honestly, there's a momentum shift coming into the Survivor Series... It's going to do wonders for the man. And this is probably going to be the final part because if they add like a random match during the pay-per-view, I am not doing another video about it because this is just, just last-minute shit. This is your final part Survivor Series. It's tonight. Look forward to it.